Yo, what's good, YouTube team? I'm back with another video, man. And today's video is on the two-way floor general. That's the build name, two-way floor general. Shout out to my boy Damaris. He's the one that showed me this build. I'm like, bro, send me that. I know my subscribers will love to have that build name, will love to see that build. So shout out to him. But before we get into the video, can we get 120 likes? 120 likes will be amazing. And also hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 4K, man. We're currently at 3,565 subscribers at the time of this recording. So 4K is right around the corner, man. Also leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys want more rare builds. Now let's get into the two-way floor general. Also, I wanted to let you guys know this build is good for current gen and next gen. So if you guys want to make this on next gen, you guys can. If you guys want to make this on current gen, you guys of course can. And as you guys can see, the build name is really called two-way floor general. I wanted to show you guys I wasn't lying. And now I'm going to show you guys how to make it. All right, so once you guys are in the My Player Builder, what you guys want to do is make the position a point guard. If you guys do make a shooting guard, you guys get a different name. It's called two-way combo guard. But if you guys want two-way four general, go with point guard. Hand this left or right. There's no advantages to either. I'm going to go with left because that's what I'm more used to. Jersey number, you guys can go with whatever. I'm going to go with 25. All right, so the height you guys want to pick is 6'9". This is a 6'9 build. And you guys know 6'9 builds are OP on this game. Like everybody's a 6'9 on next gen and current gen. It's because it gets so much upgrades. It's so tall. It has a lot of advantages. So this is not just a rare build name. It's a good build as well. Strength, what you guys want to do is go to 185. We want to be the lowest weight so we can be fast on this build. And wingspan, we want to max it out. So we can get contested in the paint and interior. And we can get a lot of blocks. And you guys will be surprised what the block is on this build. Body shape, you guys go with solid, defined, built, slight, compact. I'm going to go with slight because that's why I make all my guard builds. All right, so upgrading this build. Make sure you guys follow everything I'm about to show because just one stat can make you get a different build, probably make you get a different build name. So make sure you guys watch the whole video and upgrade it as I show. All right, so first we're going to start off with finishing and we're going to start off with our driving dunk. Your driving dunk, you guys want to make it an 87. This will allow you to get pro contact dunks and it will allow you to get limitless takeoff on goal. I'm not going to lie. I played 1v1 court. I played twos. You need limitless takeoff, man. Trust me. You do not want to have it anything less than silver. And also you get posterizer on silver and slither finisher on silver. So if you guys know how to use the dunk meter, even if you guys don't, you guys will be able to get contacts on this build. And slither finisher, you guys already know about that badge. Amazing badge. You avoid contact when you need to. Like when you have no stem, when it's a tight corner for a dunk, slither finisher will get you that dunk. After that, what you guys want to do is upgrade your driving layup. You guys want to make that an 80. This will allow us to get a giant slayer on the Hall of Fame. Also allows us to get Pro Touch. I know a couple of people use Pro Touch. And for some more finishing badges, let's make our standing dunk a 68, man. 68 standing dunk. We will be able to get standing dunks, but this is just for badges. Next, we want to go into shooting. Your mid-range, you guys want to make it a 76. 76 mid-range, you guys will be able to green. And your three-pointer, you guys want to make it a 75. And I know what you guys are thinking. No way I'm shooting with a 75 three-pointer. Yes, you can, man. 75 is what you need to green consistently. You also get green machine, so you guys are going to be fine. Get volume shooter on gold. You get limitless range. You don't even need limitless range on this game, but you do get limitless range. You can put it on. And Mike Wayne said that if you want to hit consistent, you just need a 75 three-pointer. So my good shooters, if you guys were able to shoot with that, you're able to shoot with this 75 three-pointer on this game. And I know a lot of you guys have revert, so you guys have shooting badges off the rip. You guys can put the great shooting badges you guys need. In our free throw, we want to make it a 57. This is just to make the build a 99 at the end. Next, we have playmaking pass accuracy. You want to make it an 86. Yes, an 86 pass accuracy. You see why this build is called the two-way floor general? Because you can pass the ball insanely quick. Like, this build is a passing build. You get floor general hall of fame, of course. Dimer hall of fame. Special delivery, hall of fame. Break starter, hall of fame. Bailout, gold. And you guys know Bullet Passer is not in the game. It's incorporated with pass accuracy. So if you have an 86 pass accuracy, that's Hall of Fame Bullet Passer. So with this type of pass accuracy, literally, you know the ball is not going to get intercepted. Everybody you pass it to should be open. If you pass it to the open man, that ball is zooming to that person. They could shoot right away. If you guys are playing rec, you guys got Break Starter, Hall of Fame. You guys got Dimer, so people can hit more consistent. The pass accuracy on this build is insane. For ball handle, we want to max that out. We are going to be able to dribble on this build. We are a point guard. And bro, look at all the playmaking badges you get, man. Yo, everything is gold. Everything's Hall of Fame. The only thing that is silver is handle for days and killer combos. And that's because you're 6'9". But bro, literally everything you have is gold or higher. You got quick first step on gold, unpluckable gold, needle threader on gold, like hyperdrive gold, clamp breaker gold. Like, yo, this build is crazy with playmaking, man. 
and speed with ball we want to make it a 75 man we want to be fast on this build of course we're dribbling on this build we don't want to be slow with the ball we want to be fast when we speed boost when we speed boost misdirection when we go for a dunk we don't want to be slow so of course we want speed with ball to be a 75 and also that will allow us to get 21 playmaking badges so you guys see the defensive stats on this build bro for interior defense we want to go with a 79 interior so you guys know we're stopping everybody in the paint we have a 77 wingspan we are 69 we put our hands up on a center on a point guard on a slasher it doesn't matter bro they're missing every single time i have a 60 interior defense on one of my builds and i make centers miss i make point guard miss so imagine a 79 you're gonna make everybody miss there's gonna be no flukes next for perimeter defense we want to make it at 86 man we can play on ball if we want to so if you guys want to play on ball you guys want to defend the guard so if you guys are playing twos you guys play one v one court you guys will be able to clamp them and have good defense on them we also get menace on gold you guys know that's the bumps that drains their energy when we bump them we get pick dodger on gold so if you guys are playing twos and someone's sending a screen that screen is not going to affect you bro you're going to go right through it next is your steel and you guys know steals are op so we're going to have a 90 steel on this build like i'm telling you this build doesn't lack on defense bro the defensive stats on this build is crazy bro and you guys know steals are op so we're going to be ripping every single person that we see next we got block and you guys are going to be surprised what type of block we're going to have bro we're gonna have a 99 block, bro. Anchor on Hall of Fame. Chase down artist on Hall of Fame. Like, is there any more that I have to say, bro? If you guys don't know, Anchor is probably one of the best badges for interior defense. And Chase down artist is amazing for getting blocks as well. The fact you get both those on Hall of Fame, who's gonna be able to score on you? Like the people you're defending are gonna be clueless, bro. They're not gonna know what to do because they can't score in the paint. When they try to shoot threes, they try to get open, you're on them. They're gonna try to dribble and get open, but guess what? You're bumping them or you're ripping the ball. They're going to be so angry when you're defending them because you're just a tank on defense. After you guys upgrade all those stats, what you guys wanna do is go to physicals. For speed, what you guys wanna do, you guys wanna make it a 70. This is off ball speed. This is not dribbling with the ball. This is not running with the ball. So this is just you running without the ball in your hand. We don't need it that high. 70 is valid. You guys are gonna be able to defend people. You guys are gonna be able to get those chase downs. You guys can be right on people. You don't, you don't need anything higher than a 70. Now, what does matter is acceleration. Acceleration, you guys want to make that at 80, bro. So 80 acceleration is what every 6'9 guard has. So you guys are going to be just like every 6'9 guard. And if you guys do got four general, guess what? That's 85 acceleration on a 6'9 build, bro. That is crazy, bro. So make sure you guys get gym rat. Gym rat is pretty easy to get. You just got to get three stars on 25 workouts. Very, very easy. You guys don't need to play the playoffs. You guys don't need to hit level 40. But if you guys don't want to get gym rat, don't worry. You'll be fine just with an 80 acceleration. That is pretty quick. Next, what you guys want to do, you guys want to make your vertical a 75. I know current gen doesn't matter what your vertical is, but I still feel like it will affect your dunks. Because if you guys have a 60 vertical, I don't think you're going to get the dunks you want. So make sure you just have a 75 vertical, even if you're on current gen. But on next gen, you guys want to make sure you guys have a 75 vertical so you guys can get the pro contact dunks and all the other good dunk packages. And then last but not least, stamina, you guys want to max it out. 95 bro if you guys do have gym rat that'll be 99 stamina and as you guys can see this build is a 99 you guys got 13 finishing 17 shooting 21 playmaking and 19 defensive and if you guys are on current gen you guys get a plus eight to your badges you guys can spread that pretty well and you guys do get plus four on next gen so i would put that plus four into finishing so you guys could get limitless takeoff slithery and posterizer so i would recommend to put all four into finishing but current gen you guys do not have tiers so you guys can pick any badge you guys want and spread the plus eight the way you guys want but next gen i would recommend to put it on finishing now let's continue now for takeover what you guys can choose you guys can choose slashing takeover shock rating takeover playmaking takeover and log takeover man you guys can choose whatever you guys want takeover is preference shock rating takeover is actually pretty good on this game if you guys like fading on this game it's like taking step backs you guys like doing spin shots go with shock rating but if you guys don't fade, you guys don't do those step backs, you guys don't do spin jumpers, you guys don't have to put a shocker in takeover, I would recommend slashing takeover, man. This game is very dunk heavy. Like, everybody dunks on this game. Dunking is the easy thing to do. So if you guys have slashing takeover, you guys take two to three dunks, you guys already have slashing takeover. Again, it's preference. You guys can choose whatever you guys want. Secondary takeover, I would recommend to go lock takeover, man. You guys got that 99 block. You guys got that 90 steel. You guys got that 79 interior defense. So imagine with lock takeover. It's going to be a pure lockdown when lock takeover on. So I would recommend to go lock takeover. But again, takeover is preference. You guys can choose what you guys want. You guys have no bad takeover to choose. But for me, I'll probably go lock takeover. Because again, those defensive stats are insane. So plus lock takeover, it just boosts it up even more. 
after you guys are done choosing a takeover, you guys want to continue. And boom, you guys see the build name, man. Two-way floor general. Like a rare, rare build name. Like I don't see this anywhere. Again, shout out to my boy Damaris. He found this build name. He made this build. And this build is insane, bro. It's not just a rare build name with whack stats. This build is insane, bro. It's also 6'9 with a 7'7 7 wingspan. It can dribble. It can shoot. It can dunk. It can do everything. So you guys definitely want to go with this build if you guys do love rare build names. And of course, you guys know I got you guys with the best badges. So let's get into it. All right, so the best badges for this build, I'm going to go through it really, really quick. What you guys want to use is Limitless Takeoff on Gold, Rise Up on Bronze, Slithery Finisher on Silver, Post Riser Silver, and Fearless Finisher Bronze, man. So these are the best finishing badges right here. Next, we got Shooting. Shooting, what you guys want to do is use Green Machine. Of course, we want to green every single shot. Volume Shooter just rises up the green window, no matter if we miss or make it. So if we miss, the green window rises. Make it, the green window rises. So Volume Shooter is an amazing badge. Next, what you guys want to use is Amp Silver, of course. We'll guard up on Silver if anybody tries to contest us. Limitless Range on Bronze. Of course, you guys don't need this badge, but I would recommend it so you guys can green more from deep and it allows you to shoot further. So, of course, we want that. We don't want to just shoot from the three-point line. We want to shoot beyond the three-point line. And we want to green as much as we can beyond the three-point line. Clutch Shooter on Silver. Clutch Shooter has always been a good badge. It's been a good badge since, what, 2K20, 2K21, 2K22. I've always used Clutch Shooter. And I feel like Clutch Shooter would be really good on this build, man. So, save 16-16. The green window rises. Next, we got playmaking. What you guys want to use is him for days on silver. Quick first step on gold. Needle threader gold. Needle threader gold is probably insane, especially with an 86 pass accuracy. That's literally bullet passer hall of fame with needle threader on gold on this game. That's insane, bro. That's really, really good. So you guys want to run needle threader on gold. Bailout on bronze. Man, we got a high pass accuracy. So we could throw those bailouts and our teammate will catch it like a normal like pass for real though. Like, man, any <laughs> And your player is going to throw it really, really quick to them too. So if I regret a shot and I pass it to my teammate, I'm throwing a bullet to him. And he's going to catch it normally so he can shoot the shot and green it or dunk the ball. So bailout is definitely good for this build. Next, we want killer combos on silver. That's quick chain of this year. So we want to dribble quicker. We want to chain moves together. We want to combo up quicker. So of course, we want killer combos because it's basically like quick chain from last year. And next, we want unpluckable. Steals are out of this world. Everybody's reaching. So we don't want to get the ball stolen from us. So we want to run on Puckable the highest we can, which is gold. I love the defensive badges we have, man. Hall of Fame anchor. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Like, bro, you guys are going to protect the rim, block shots. You guys can do everything, man. You guys have a 79 interior defense, which is amazing for this game. And a 99 block. So you guys can be blocking and contesting every single thing in the paint, man. Menace on gold, of course, get more bumps. Drain their stamina when you bump them. Love on silver. We got a 90 steal on this build. We're going to rip everybody, bro. The people that we're going to defend on this build, bro, are going to hate us, bro. Like, yo, he's blocking my shots. He's ripping the ball from me. He's bumping me and draining my stamina. Like, I can't get open on this person. It's because your defense is insane on this build. They're not going to get open on you, bro. It's going to be impossible, bro. Next, we got Chase Down Artist on Hall of Fame. I love Chase Down Artist on this game. Last year, I used to use it on silver. That was like that sweet spot. But I feel like this year, you want to max it out. The highest you could get Chase Down Artist, you want to put it. And we get a Hall of Fame, man, with that Anchor Hall of Fame. These two are going to work together so amazingly. Like, definitely want to chase it on Artist Hall of Fame and Anchor Hall of Fame, bro. They're going to work together so well. You're going to block everybody. You're going to test everybody. Who's going to score on you in the paint? Nobody, man. You're going to get tons of stops. And you guys know people love dunking on this game. This is, like, essential for real. Like, you really need Chaser on Artist Hall of Fame, Anchor Hall of Fame. Because everybody dunks on this game. And when you stop them from dunking, they're done. They're done. Nobody shoots on this game. Nobody tries to get open and shoot. And when they try to do it, guess what? We got that glove. We got that menace. So they can't do it. You feel me? So we're going to be locking people up crazy on this build, man. And those are the best badges for this build, man. If you guys love this build, you guys like this build, leave a like on the video. Hit the subscribe button. And also leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see more rare builds, man. And I'll make it for you guys. And of course, I'm going to still put out the meta builds. This one's a meta and rare build. So it's like two in one. But of course, we're going to put out the meta builds as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for all the support lately. Peace.